Mission is a go. What's going on, guys? Team Execution here, bringing you another episode of this series, Dominating Tips. This is the second episode, part two. Yes, we had a second episode already, but this is part two. It is a different episode. The only reason it is still called episode two is because it is so similar to the last one. It was a glitch through the wall with the target finder. This isn't any glitches. It's just really cool jumps and spots that you can do with the target finder and the MMS scanners attached. This first one is you get up on that weird thing I climbed over there uh, a second ago. And you can see there's a B-DOM spot there, cap spot, and then there's a search and destroy head glitch to watch the bomb. Two very common spots. You always got to do is come up these stairs and then to this whatever you want to call this thing, this block thing. And then you jump, and you can see them perfectly. And you don't even got to jump if you just want to use the target finder. If you're using a sniper, I would recommend jumping. You can't really see them through these plants. But, you know, with the target finder, you see them through it. So that's really helpful. That's good to know. And, um... Oh, one thing, thank you to Wyo and Azura for letting me basically just kill you over and over in this gameplay, letting me show these spots off that I have just randomly found and come upon. And they're, I don't know, really cool. Um, another one is this MMS scanner through the ground. You can see, boom, dead. And it's just a really nice spot if they're trying to cap B and you're on the other side, I guess. Um, yes, it is going to be kind of harder to kill them through the wall, but I mean, as you've seen right there, it wasn't that difficult. I just took a few bursts from the MA Day one. Um, and then if they're camping laundry and they're just checking, you can see if they're up on the stairs, if you just get on this rock I'm on right now, and boom. I wouldn't recommend trying to shoot him. I will show you that shooting him is not a good idea because... It just takes too much to kill him. It's just not going to be very effective. It's just going to give away your spot and you're going to die. Um, another spot here. Uh, this rock right here, if they're head glitching this, which is kind of rare, but I just thought I'd include it just in case you're playing demolition, you're spawn trapping, or domination, and they're protecting their home base. That's a good way to see if they're head glitching that rock. All right, now you come through this courtyard thing and get up on this railing down here and use the MMS scanner, and you'll be able to see um, Azura, uh, as I have set up. He is down there, and you can see him through this thick wall. Why you can do this in this game, I really don't know. I mean, I think it's kind of ridiculous. He can see me as well, and I don't really know why. I mean, that is a very thick wall, if you ask me. You probably should not be able to see through that, but oh well. The game put it in there. Makes sense. Not to me, but oh well. All right. This last one is a ban from MLG, so it is obviously really powerful. And for some reason, since I am doing a post commentary to show you guys this tip, it's not coming up. But um, it is well known, this blur glitch, if I'm aiming where I am now, make sure not to jump up onto the railing thing. Uh, but that plant that I shot a second ago will get blurry if you're aiming right here. If they are walking up into the bedroom... Um, and then you'll know if they're going to the bedroom. If they go bottom bed, then you're not going to know. All right, but another one. Um, this right here, you can jump up on the couch and then jump over to the whatever this is. And um, boom, you aim out the doorway, and basically the entire room will get blurry. Obviously, nothing's getting blurry because it's not working in theater mode. But if you guys go out and try it yourselves, it will work. You can't do it in split screen or theater mode. It does not come up. But if you go into a private match with one of your friends, it'll come up right there. And you can just know if they're going to art or anywhere over past the pillars over there. And it's really useful just to know where they're going. Um, if you have one guy go to each spot I just showed, then you'll be able to know where they are going at the beginning of a search and destroy round. That's mainly what that is for. And we're, I'm just basically showing, I guess, a little spot Azura found to know this basketball hard point. If they're not in either of those spots, then you know they're head glitching that basketball, like, random, I don't even know, that block right there or in the basketball room. And then here I just happened to trap Azura. I thought it was kind of funny. But, guys, that's all the tips I have for you today. Um, if you enjoyed, make sure to smack that in on the like button. If you really enjoyed and you want to see more, make sure to smack that in on that subscribe button. Thanks, guys. Execution out.